Hi, and welcome to week three for math class. So we're going to hit the pause button a little bit and kind of go back and look at addition and subtraction one more time. So for the most part, everybody did a really nice job with uh, money and time. And addition and subtraction, when we weren't doing borrowing or carrying, everybody did really well. But borrowing and carrying seem to still be an issue. And I know going back to elementary school, that was an issue. And it was always a difficult thing for all of us to do. So I have been taking some time to watch some YouTube videos and to kind of teach myself a better way to do double digit addition and subtraction. And so I'm going to share that with you. And that's really what we're going to focus on. So this week, you're going to spend a lot of time during our math lessons watching videos. You'll watch videos of other people doing double digit addition and subtraction with borrowing and carrying. And you're also going to watch videos of me doing the problem for you. And then giving you a chance to use these new strategies or skills to solve the problem to see if that might help. So some of the things we're going to be doing, these might look a little weird, but I want you to just look at it so when you start to watch the video, you understand why it looks the way it does. So this is how we're going to be doing our double-digit addition action. You have your problem set up, and then you are going to be drawing a ones and tens chart. And what we're going to be using are sticks and blocks. Remember, sticks are tens, blocks are ones. And you will be using this chart so that you remember to carry whenever it is time. And again, you will see a video explaining why you're going to be doing that. The other thing that we need to be working on is double digit uh, subtraction with borrowing. Borrowing has always been our most difficult part of doing addition and subtraction. What we kind of catch on to, to the carrying, but the borrowing is what really has tripped us up. This will definitely look confusing to start, but I just want you to take a look because this will become very familiar to you. This will be something you will be using quite a bit this week when we're practicing double digit subtraction with borrowing. And again, we're using sticks, we're using blocks. So we're setting up our tens and our ones. We're just doing it above the number instead of in a chart like what we do for addition. And again, after watching the YouTube video and watching me demonstrate it, this will make total sense. I know for me, this helped me a lot so that I, number one, remembered to borrow, and number two, remembered to change my numbers because we always make our mistakes. We forget to add that 10 in the ones column, and we almost always forget to take away from the tens column because remember, when you borrow, you take from the ten. So in that case, we have to change our numbers up here in order for these numbers down here, our answer, to be the rule. So hopefully after you watch those videos, you watch those demonstrations, you'll have a much better understanding of how to do these problems. If at any point you're struggling, it's just not making sense, you're still getting things wrong, then you need to be the responsible student and you need to reach out to me and use your chat to do that. Also, we can definitely take time to Zoom. I can walk through these problems with you. I can send you a problem. I can have you do it. I can set it up so that you can see my screen while I'm doing it. Whatever we have to do to help, we can make that happen. So please give it that effort. I understand we've been doing this for a while, but this is your opportunity to fix those mistakes and learn. Good luck.